Okay, on the screen right now is a mass spectrum, and this mass, mass spectrum is um, characterized by this huge peak with an MZ of 91. Okay, what, what is our molecule that we're looking at? Well, the molecule itself is this structure. This is benzyloxy um, benzene. And as it turns out, if, if we were to ionize this in a mass, put it through a mass spectrum, we'd ionize. And this would be our parent ion. And this thing would have an MZ of 184. And that's right there, 184, right where it should be. And then we'd undergo a fragmentation. Now there are different things we could look for in alpha cleavage, but as it turns out, when you can have a benzene ring and a CH2 group coming off a molecule, it will find a way to come off the molecule every single time and give you this really big um, MZ of 91. This is a, a benzene ring with a CH2 next to it. Kind of. And I'll explain why it's kind of that in a second. So what happens is we're going to, here's our uh, radical cation, alpha carbons next. And what's going to happen actually is we're just going to pull these electrons to the oxygen. It's a little sloppy, but hopefully you get the idea. And if we break that bonding pair, pull them onto oxygen, what we're going to get is this. This is our fragment radical. has no charge, so we don't observe it. Plus, this species. That's what it looks like initially, and this is a fragment cation, and it has an MZ of 91. Notice that follows a typical pattern. We started with an even mass, and we get an odd mass fragment. But as it turns out, there's something special about this cation that makes it so willing to leave the molecule. And you might say, well, it looks like a very nice cation. It's gonna, the cation's next to a benzene ring, so it does have resonance, and that is certainly true. But actually, this cation undergoes a rearrangement. I'm not gonna pretend to know the mechanism of this, but we can talk about why it's so favorable. This cation undergoes a rearrangement to a seven-membered ring. And this seven-membered ring, this is a special cation. It's called a tropilium ion. You might wonder, why would anybody go to the time, take the effort to make a special name for this cation? Well, it turns out this cation is fully aromatic. If you go back and look at Huckel's rules, you will see that this is, it's a ring. Every atom in the ring has a p orbital, and the total number of electrons in those p orbitals is six electrons. So this satisfies Huckel's rules. This is aromatic. This makes this cation especially stable and makes it so easy or so favorable to form in a mass spectrum. So typically, if a molecule can use, lose a CH2 phenyl, it will rearrange to this tropilium ion structure, and you'll see it as the most prominent peak in the spectrum. And we call that the base peak. Not always, but very often. So there are all sorts of quirks and tips and tricks that you encounter when you do mass spectrometry. spectrometry. But one thing we'll encounter in our molecules is we'll often see a tropilium ion if our molecule can possibly fragment to form one.